In a previous video, we took a look at the future of the Belgian Air Force helicopter fleet under the Star Plan. Today, we are going to look at what the future holds for the fixed wing assets. Just like the helicopters, almost all legacy types of aircraft are either planned to be replaced, already withdrawn, or are in progress of replacement. As of 2023, the Belgian Air Force fixed wing fleet currently comprises of roughly 54 Lockheed Martin F 16A and B Fighting Falcons, 6 Airbus A 400Ms out of a total of 7 ordered, 2 leased Dassault Falcon 9X, about 30 SF 260 Marchettis, and a single Airbus A 330 MRTT that is part of the NATO multinational MRTT unit. By 2030, half of these aircraft will be replaced by modern aircraft or are to be supplemented and or upgraded. In 2018, after a lengthy evaluation process and considering different types of fighter aircraft, the Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II was selected to replace the aging fleet of F-16 Fighting Falcons. The Belgian Air Force has placed an order for 34 of these 5th generation multi-role stealth fighters to be serialed FL-01 to FL-34. Deliveries are expected to begin in 2023, with the first aircraft who will remain in the United States for pilot and crew conversion training. The first F-35As to arrive in Belgium are to be based at Florent Air Force Base starting in 2025, followed by Kleine Brogel in 2027. Both bases are currently being renewed, as the current infrastructure is outdated, and new facilities are needed to operate the aircraft. These will house simulators, QRA shelters, operations buildings, squadron level maintenance, and so forth. It has been noted in July 2022 that the first fuselage assemblies for the Belgian Air Force's first two F 35s, production numbers AY01 and AY02, are currently underway at Lockheed's assembly line in Cameri in Italy. In December of that year, the first Belgian F-35A was noted on Lockheed's final assembly line in Fort Worth in Texas, where all Belgian F-35s will be manufactured. Initially, under the start plan, there were plans to order 14 additional F-35As, but these plans have been put on hold due to cost measures, but is likely to be re-examined in 2030. Fun fact. Belgium did have the intention of joining the development program back in 2001, when back then it was still known as the Joint Strike Fighter or JSF. Under the back then Defence Minister, André Flau, the proposal was to invest $500 million in the development, with a plan to buy 48 aircraft at a later date. But the plans were halted after protests by the Ecologist Party Hrun and Ecolo and Flemish Socialist Party SPA. It would eventually take 17 more years and an extensive evaluation process to select the F-35A, but then to be bought off the shelf under a foreign military sales deal. In 2003, Belgium joined several other European nations in the development of the Future Large Aircraft, or FLA, which would eventually become the Airbus A400M and immediately ordered 7 aircraft to replace the 11 Lockheed C-130H Hercules in service. An 8th aircraft was later added to be operated on behalf of the Luxembourg Armed Forces. The first A400M for Belgium was first flown in July 2020 and was delivered in December of that year. At the moment this video is made, 7 aircraft have so far been delivered to the 15th wing at Malsbroek Air Base in Brussels, including the sole example for Luxembourg. The 8 AF400M, also the 7th and last for the Belgian Air Force, is expected to be delivered in 2024. These have now fully replaced the C-130, of which the last one was retired in December 2021, after 50 years of service. Seven of them have since been sold to the Pakistan Air Force. Under the start plan, the A400M is expected to receive new improved self-defense suite and a block upgrade but there are no details as to what that will include. In the previous plan, there were plans to buy air-to-air -air refueling pods to configure two A400Ms as aerial refueling tankers. 
but it now seems that those plans have been shelved. In favor for a second Airbus A330 MRTT for the NATO multinational MRTT unit, based at Eindhoven in the Netherlands. But the A400M tanker mission could be revisited in the future. To supplement the A400M, the Belgian Air Force is planning to acquire three smaller airlifters for operations from smaller airfields where the A400M is deemed too large and too expensive to operate from. These aircraft are likely to be twin engine turboprop transports with short takeoff and landing capabilities. The two most likely candidates to fulfill these requirements are the Airbus Military C295M and the Lockheed Leonardo C27J Spartan. With over 200 aircraft built, in service with over 15 air forces, the Airbus C295M is perhaps one of the most successful military transport aircraft made in Europe. Within NATO, it is already in service with Canada, the Czech Republic, Finland, Ireland, Poland, Portugal and Spain. The C295 is a real jack of all trades, serving not just as a transport aircraft, but there are also variants for search and rescue, firefighting, maritime patrol and even a gunship version. Airborne early warning and aerial refueling tanker versions have also been noted to be under testing. The Lockheed Leonardo C-27J Spartan is an Italian-American twin-engine turboprop military transport aircraft and is a development of the 1960s era Alenia G-222. The main changes to the C-27J from the G-222 were the new more powerful engines with a six-blade composite propeller comparable with those found on the C-130J Super Hercules, an avionics upgrade and an increased payload and takeoff weight. The aircraft is often demonstrated across Europe, where it amazes crowds with its capability to perform barrel rolls. Within Europe, the C-27J is operated by Italy, Greece, Slovenia, Slovakia and Lithuania. Although Airbus has announced the development of a new twin-engine medium transport aircraft in 2023, known as the MTA, there is little to no information of the aircraft at this point, let alone a design, and it is unlikely to be flown before 2040. So for now, the Airbus C295M and the Lockheed Leonardo C27J remain the two most likely contenders for this requirement. The CIE SF-260 Marchetti is currently the oldest aircraft still in Belgian Air Force service. 36 SF-260Ms were delivered from 1969 to replace the Stampe SV-4B in the elementary training and basic training roles. In 1991, an additional 9 aircraft from the SF-260D version were ordered as attrition replacements and for use for IFR training. Today. About 30 Marchettis still serve with 5 Squadron at Bovesheim Air Base. But after 50 years of service, the career of these little piston engine trainers is coming to an end, as the aircraft is becoming technologically outdated to keep up with modern training needs and requirements, and in October 2020 it was announced that the replacement will be sought. But this has not been noted in the start plan, and is a separate program. On October 28, 2022, the go-ahead was given in Parliament to select a new training aircraft. These aircraft will be flown by military instructor pilots, but will be acquired via a civilian subcontractor, who will provide not just the aircraft, but also maintenance and support for these. During the Sanicol Air Show of the September 2022, the three most likely candidates were showcased to the public. These being the Pilatus PC-7 Mark X, the Diamond Dart 550, and the Grob G120TP. Also in the running are the Beechcraft T6C Texan II, the Embraer Super Tucano, the PZL-130 Orlik by Airbus and PZL, and the Kai KT-1 Wung B, although these four are considered to be outsiders in the selection process. A decision is expected shortly, and is hoped the first aircraft will enter service in 2024 although this seems a bit over-optimistic.
Aside from helicopters, there are also plans to foresee fixed-wing assets for use by special forces operators. Details for this requirement are scarce, but from what is known, the aircraft would not only have a job of inserting special forces operators in combat zones, but will also function as an ISR and intelligence gathering asset. At least five aircraft are to be ordered and delivered before the end of the decade. So far, the main contenders that could have been noted and are currently in use with other nations as special forces aircraft are the Pilatus PC-12 and the De Havilland Canada slash Viking DHC-6 Twin Otter Guardian 400. One example of the latter was seen at the 2022 Sunnycall Air Show where I took these pictures. Seen here fitted with a SCAR forward looking infrared turret under the wing, a system that could be fitted to the Belgian aircraft if selected. But as noted earlier, there is very little information about this requirement and the actual contenders for this. One of the biggest challenges in the STAR plan is the investment in a number of rotary and fixed wing unmanned aerial systems or UAS. The Belgian Air Force has no real fixed wing medium altitude long endurance or MAIL UAS in its inventory, following the early retirements of the AIA B Hunters in 2020. Its intended replacement is the General Atomics MQ 9B Sky Guardian, a version of the MQ 9 Reaper modified and certified for operations within European airspace. A total of four of the RPAS, or Remotely Piloted Aerial System, are on order since 2018. Together with two ground stations, there is also an option to order additional aircraft in the future. New facilities are currently being built at Florent Air Base, who will house and operate these aircraft within the 2nd Tactical Wing, the 2nd Squadron. 2 Squadron, La Comet, was originally an F-16 unit disbanded in 2001, following reorganization of the armed forces. It is historically one of the oldest units in the Belgian Air Force, with its history dating back over 100 years to World War I. The unit will now be reactivated to operate the Sky Guardian, replacing the 80th UAV squadron. The primary mission of the Sky Guardian will be surveillance and reconnaissance missions, but they will also have the option to be armed. However, there is still some political debate on whether or not these RPAS would be armed at all as left-wing politicians see them as killer drones. Many are questioning this decision and if these aircraft will go into service unarmed, the Belgian Air Force could find itself stuck with a toothless lion. Looking at the military point of view, and seeing the success of similar systems in recent conflicts, such as the armed conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia in 2020, and more recent, Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Armed unmanned aircraft have proven to be a real game changer and an invaluable asset in these wars. It would only make sense that the Belgian Air Force would arm their MQ 9Bs if they want to stay relevant and have the CIS capability on hand if needed. The first MQ 9B Scar Guardian for the Belgian Air Force is expected to be delivered by the end of 2023. There are various other unmanned aircraft and drones on order, both fixed and rotary wing systems but I will do a separate video on these in the future. This sums up the main plans for the Belgian Air Force is fixed wing assets. But as noted, these are subject to change depending on politics and available budget. But one thing is certain, despite these plans seem small in comparison to other European NATO members, they will offer an increase in capability and offer better international cooperation compared what Belgium offers to NATO today.